I've come to Pittsfield, Vermont to build my cabin, become the best obstacle racer I can be, and motivate and inspire others. Pilot Bonaventure is giving him a blessing right now. Oh, he, oh. He's gonna need it. My name is Father Bonavich, a Roman Catholic priest, and they've asked me to give you a blessing for your adventure. So, through the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, remember God bless you with all the graces necessary to see you through this trial. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. About two and a half years ago, I had a surgery for severe spinal stenosis. Coming into it, I was in a wheelchair or crutching it with one leg because I couldn't put pressure on my left leg and I had sharp, dull, numb pain, you know, basically from my waist down. I, I, I was miserable for the three years leading up to it. After that, I just had a newfound appreciation in the time that I did spend in a hospital for things that I took for granted. My goal is to live in this cabin that's being built in the ravine and to train in it, or train in it, outside of it, up and down the hill that surrounds it, and use my environment to better prepare myself for racing. So he trains pretty hard. He's one of the top Spartan athletes. He finished third this, uh, this summer in Monterey, California. He had an injury at the Killington race, so he didn't do as well as he had anticipated, but he's clearly fit and he works out. And, but there's a big difference between surviving a two to three hour Spartan race and uh, living in the woods in Vermont. It's really cold. It, uh, it got colder as the day went on, actually. The biggest challenge I'll have to overcome is the cold. Period. I mean, I've never dealt with it. So, uh, I don't know. How cold is it right now? Oh, it's, it's 15. It's easy 15, yeah. if not less. There's a spiritual element to everything mankind does. That, you know, everything we do, like even the work here is, is in, involved in the stewardship of, of God's creation to take the things God has given us, given us and to work with them like, almost like an artist. Are Spartans born or are they made? We think they're made. We're gonna find out here while we try to forge Miguel into being a Spartan.